Hi friends, it's Katrina! From the first recorded evidence of the cosmic dawn to the universe expanding at an astounding rate, here are eight fascinating discoveries from the edge of the universe. Number 8. GNZ11 in March 2016, astronomers announced the discovery of the most distant galaxy ever detected. The infant galaxy, dubbed GNZ11, is some 13.4 billion light years away and is located in the direction of the constellation Ursa Major. It has just 1% of our galaxy's mass in stars and is around 25 times smaller than the Milky Way galaxy. The study was led by Yale University astronomer Dr. Pascal Oesch and was published in the Astrophysical Journal. We see GNZ11 at a time when the universe was only 3% of its current age, Dr. Oesh stated of the galaxy. Using Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, Dr. Oesh and his co-workers measured the precise distance to the galaxy spectroscopically by splitting the light into its component colors. They pushed Hubble to its limits to get the spectroscopic data needed to determine the galaxy's red shift, which is a way to measure its distance from Earth. Until astronomers figured out the distance of GNZ11, the equally uneventfully named EGSY8P7 was the most distant galaxy measured spectroscopically. It had a red shift of 8.68, or 13.2 billion years into the past. GNZ11 brings us 200 million years closer to the Big Bang, with a redshift of 11.1. .1. Although 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang seems like a lot of time for a galaxy to form, Professor Illingworth explained the impressiveness of GNZ11's size. It takes really fast growth, producing stars at a huge rate to have formed a galaxy that is a billion solar masses so soon. Number 7. Radio Evidence of the First Stars once upon a time, the universe was pitch dark. Billions of years ago, a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the first star formed, followed by more stars and then galaxies. The light from these stars is so faint, even the most advanced observatory is unable to detect it. A group of five astronomers announced in early 2018 that they'd found evidence of the first stars that came into existence in the form of radio signals. The 13.6 billion year old signal was picked up in the outback of Western Australia using radio antennas the size of coffee tables as part of the experiment to detect the global epoch of reionization signature, or EDGES project for short. The discovery is to be approached cautiously, astronomer and Harvard professor Avi Leb warned. Radio signals within the Milky Way galaxy can be tens of thousands of times more intense than the faint signal suggesting the first stars had been detected. Researchers compared it to trying to hear someone whisper while at a rock concert and had to remove the dominant signal. Moreover, the instruments required for the measurement of the radio signal could produce false signals if the calibrations are off by just a few hundredths of a percent. The tiny absorption signal is thought to be the cumulative shadows of hydrogen clouds from between 180 and 250 million years after the Big Bang. Number 6. ADFS 27 The largest galaxy merger ever discovered was witnessed in late 2017 by scientists using the radio telescope Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array or ALMA in Chile. The two massive and incredibly bright galaxies were collectively labeled ADFS 27 and constitute what scientists call superluminous starburst galaxies. They are some of the oldest known galaxies in the universe and are located 12.7 billion light years away. In a November 2017 article for Popular Mechanics, writer Avery Thompson referred to galaxy collisions as the largest and most intricate choreography of matter ever performed in the universe and a dance that takes billions of years to complete. As two galaxies merge, supermassive black holes combine and collide, billions of stars condense and scatter, and nebulas of gas buckle into thousands of new stars. Dominique Rikers, the lead author of a study that was published in the Astrophysical Journal, stated that finding just one hyperluminous starburst galaxy is remarkable in itself. Finding two of these rare galaxies in such close proximity is truly astounding. He went on to say that considering their extreme distance from Earth and the frenetic star-forming activity inside each, it's possible we may be witnessing the most intense galaxy merger known to date. The brightness of AFDS 27 was caused by a side-swiping collision, which set off an intense burst of star formation. Each of the two galaxies is at least a dozen times the size of the Milky Way, and they are pumping stars out a thousand times faster than our 100,000 light-year-wide galaxy. It's possible that the massive galaxies could someday form the core of a new galaxy cluster. This would mean AFDS 27 would be located in the center as hundreds or thousands of galaxies revolved around it. 
Whether a galaxy cluster will result from the merger can be determined by follow-up observations with different telescopes. Number 5. Ancient Black Holes Earlier this year, astronomers from Japan, Taiwan, and Princeton University discovered 83 quasars powered by supermassive black holes. A quasar is defined as a massive and extremely remote celestial object emitting huge amounts of energy. The discovery was made in the distant universe when the universe was less than a tenth of its current age. The black holes are 13 billion light years away, meaning that the view represents what they looked like 13 billion years ago, some 800 million years after the Big Bang. Michael Strauss, one of the study's co-authors and professor of astrophysical sciences at Princeton University, said, It is remarkable that such massive, dense objects were able to form so soon after the Big Bang. This finding revealed how common black holes were in the universe's early history and considerably increases the amount of black holes known to exist at that time. Moreover, the discovery offers new insight into how the physical state of gas was affected by black holes during the early universe's first billion years of existence. Supermassive black holes can be millions or billions of times more massive than the Sun and are found at the centers of galaxies. It's unclear when they first formed or how many there were in the distant early universe, although they are prevalent today. A supermassive black hole begins to shine as a quasar when gases start forming on it. To collect their data, the research team mounted a cutting-edge instrument called a Hypersuprime Cam, or HSC, onto the Subaru Telescope of the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, located in Hawaii at the summit of Mauna Kea. The Subaru Telescope is one of the largest in the world, and the HSC has a field view seven times the area of the full moon. Number 4. Whirlpool Galaxies in 2017, an international team of astronomers discovered that some of the universe's earliest galaxies contained swirling gas. The newborn galaxies spin like a whirlpool, similarly to the Milky Way galaxy, and were observed as they appeared 13 billion years ago. Team member Gary Illingworth, professor emeritus of astronomy and astrophysics at UC Santa Cruz, explained that by looking at objects billions of light years away, astronomers are literally peering into the past, because it takes a long time for light from distant objects to reach Earth. Thanks to ever-advancing technology, it's now possible for the experts to watch the formation of the earliest galaxies. Led by Rensky Smith of the Kavli Institute of Cosmology at the University of Cambridge, the team carried out their research also using ALMA in Chile. Looking back at a very early stage in cosmic history, they discovered star-forming galaxies that spin in a way not thought to occur until much later on. They also observed two small newborn galaxies from 13.7 billion years ago, about 800 million years after the Big Bang. ALMA's ability to collect far infrared light enabled the team to see for the first time the internal motion of the gas that fueled the galaxy's growth, as well as calculate the distance to the galaxies. Similarly to more mature galaxies like our own, these young ones spun in a whirlpool motion. To the surprise of the research team, the galaxies were less chaotic than expected, although they were forming stars at a higher rate than other newborn galaxies. Number 3. A Fossil Gas Cloud Last year, astronomers discovered a relic cloud of gas using the world's most power-optic telescope, the WM Keck Observatory on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. The discovery was led by PhD student Fred Robert and Professor Michael Murphy at Swinburne University of Technology. The two other known fossil clouds were discovered in 2011. This incredibly rare fossil provides new information about the formation of the universe and the first galaxies. Everywhere we look, the gas in the universe is polluted by waste-heavy elements from exploding stars, Robert explained. But this particular cloud seems pristine, unpolluted by stars even 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. He went on to add that it seems to be a true relic of the Big Bang. Number 2. Max 1149 JD1 in 2012, astronomers discovered a galaxy 13.3 billion light-years away, containing stars that formed just 250 million years after the Big Bang. Officially known as Max 1149 JD1, it's one of the farthest objects from Earth whose lights can be observed. Nicholas Laporte, study co-author and a researcher at the University College of London, stated in an interview with Space.com that Max 1149 JD1 is the most distant galaxy with a precise distance measurement and the farthest known source of oxygen. The presence of oxygen was telling of the star's age. When stars die, oxygen is released into the galaxy's gas clouds. This means that an older generation of stars had already come and gone within the galaxy. Researchers were surprised at how far back into the universe's past this oxygen had formed. They also used the ALMA telescope to measure the galaxy's redshift. 
based on its redshift measurement of 9.1, the scientists concluded that they were looking at a 550 million year old galaxy. The team then observed the galaxy's brightness, which suggested that just 250 million years after the Big Bang, the galaxy underwent substantial star formation. Researchers hope to someday view the first stars and galaxies in the universe using more sensitive instruments. Their ultimate goal is to eventually reach an epoch known as Cosmic Dawn, when the first stars in the universe formed. Number 1. Disappearing Sections of the Universe The universe started out as a single point an estimated 13.799 billion years ago when the Big Bang occurred. Since then, it's been expanding. In the late 20th century, two teams of scientists attempted to measure cosmic deceleration, or the rate at which the expansion of the universe was slowing. The researchers were shocked to learn that the universe isn't just not slowing down, it's accelerating. And even more surprising, the most far-flung galaxies appear to be picking up speed as they become increasingly distant. Newer calculations took into consideration the accelerated expansion of the observable universe, subsequently determining that it has a radius of at least 46 billion light years. The observable universe is what it sounds like, the extent of everything that can be detected from Earth. Beyond it is the unobservable universe, which is also what it sounds like. Some regions of space are moving away from the Earth faster than the speed of light. As the observable universe accelerates, more regions of space are lost to the cosmic horizon and the unobservable universe each year. Theoretically, if this expansion never stops, the universe's visible horizon will ultimately begin shrinking. How are things expanding faster? That is the question. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new about space. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!